Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I thought that I would do this glam look. Perfect for shopping, any sort of day out, so it's not too heavy. What I love about this look is if you wear it for a day out and then you're going out at night time, you can just add a few extra shadows like blacks and browns just to smoke it out a little bit. It's so customizable. It's so, so flattering on the eye. So if you would like to know how I do this slam, then please keep watching. Okay, so as this is quite a glam look, so it's quite a bronze tutorial, so I'm going to be using the e.l.f. highlight, which just looks like this. I have mine in the colour Fiji Matte, and I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Strobe Highlight in Rejuvenate. So I wanted to go for a matte colour for the all over lid, and I wanted to go for a highlight for more of a shimmer to give my, myself that bronzy appearance. I'm now going to be going in with just a fluffy brush, and the fluffy brush that I'm using is just an unknown brush, and I'm just going to be putting the e.l.f. bronzer all over the lid. I've ditched the tape today because I'm just going to stick to sort of like a rounded eye. I don't really want to go for the, you know, the ones that I normally do when I have the tape and it gives me that really harsh line. I just want to go for something quite rounded. So once I've done that, I'm now just going to go in with my Makeup Revolution highlight. How beautiful is this colour? Couldn't get it open then. It's just super pigmented. It's gonna be perfect for the crease because as you can see, it is a lot darker than the original matte color that I went in. And I'm just gonna go in with my fluffy brush. Again, this is unnamed. I'm having to use the same brush as I did yesterday because my Zoeva brushes and my Morphe brushes are still drying. Absolute nightmare. So I have just wiped them over with a bit of rubbing alcohol. Perfect for disinfecting brushes on the go. So I'm now just gonna dip my brush into the highlight and concentrate this in the crease area. Okay, so after I've gone in with that colour, I'm now going to use the BH Cosmetics Smoky Eyes Palette. And the colour that I am going to be using is just this black colour here. And I'm just going to use this in my crease just to warm this up a little bit. I am just going to be focusing in half my crease and my outer V. Um, obviously, I'm not going to pull it all the way in. And I'm just using this unnamed small tip brush. Okay, so once blended, your eyeshadow should look a little bit like this. But I want it to create this sort of daytime glam where you're able to go shopping, you're able to, you know, do what you want to do with a little bit of glam, but obviously it's not too heavy, which I love. So now once I've done that, I'm now just going to put some concealer on the middle half of my lid. And the brush that I will be using, as always, is the Zoeva 144 Soft Concealer Brush. Perfect for cut creasing, perfect for applying concealer, it's amazing at everything. Cut crease should look a bit like this. So when I've done that and the concealer is tacky, I'm now just gonna go in with a white pigment just to give my eyes a little bit more definition and to really make them pop. So again, I've gone in with the BH Cosmetics Smoky Eyes Palette and as always, I will be using this sort of golden yellowy shade here. Perfect for brightening the eyes and make them, you know, look a bit bigger than they already are. As this is sort of like a soft, smoky eye, I don't really want to add eyeliner because that'll just add too much heaviness to the eye. So I'm going to compensate with quite heavy lashes. And the lashes that I will be using are the Eyelore Texture in number 157. 
they're super defined and they give eyes such definition. I hate wearing these with eyeliner because they just make the eyes so heavy. So I sort of have, have to pick eyeliner or these lashes and today it's definitely gonna be these lashes. Just look how amazing these eyelashes are though. Like they're so textured and they give eyes such definition. So I'm just gonna put some mascara on my lower lid and I'll be back. Okay, so the rest of my face is now done. The foundation that I am wearing is my MAC Studio Fix in NC20. The lipstick that I'm wearing, I said in my previous video, I'm obsessing with this colour at the moment. It is the shade Daddy by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. It's such a perfect brown. Not too dark, not too light. It's just sort of in the middle. It is amazing. So now when I've done my face, I then like to go in and put the eyeshadow on my lower lid. So the eyeshadow that I am going to be using is again the elf bronzer um, just to reiterate I got mine in Fiji matte and I'm just going to be taking the same brush I used on my eyeshadow just to buff that in on my lower lid just to give my eyes a little bit more definition so for the inner corner I'm going to go in with the BH cosmetics palette and again I'm just going to pick that golden color that I used for my um, middle of my lid and I'm just going to place this on my little finger, just in the middle, the inner corner, just to give my eyes that extra sparkle. And then sometimes what I will do, just to be a little bit extra, I will sometimes place some of that powder on my lipstick, just to give my lipstick that metallic-y sort of um, appearance. And it also just defines lips so, so well. Like, I will show you now. Just look at that ever since I've put that on. It just makes your lips look more 3D in pictures and it just gives luminosity to your lips. Okay, so this is the end result. This is the sort of makeup I would wear for sort of like a day out. Not too heavy. I think the eyeshadow on the lips makes lips look so amazing. They look so healthy. So I really hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time.